Hello Gemini, welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into the weekly love reading and we're going to go right into them. I'm going to save the oracle cards for the end of the reading. This is going to be for November 16th to the 23rd. See what this next week holds. And this is a reading into a connection that you have with someone Gemini. So it could be a new connection, old connection, reconciliation, whatever the case is, we're going to take a look at it. Show me what's going on for Gemini this coming week, seven days. This is my outside skateboard. All right, Gemini, your person is coming in with lovers. You're coming in this week with seven of pentacles. They see you as a two of swords, and you see them as the tower. Oh, man. They desire six of wands. You desire the star. And what needs to happen for them is page energy and for you, nine of pentacles. So bottom of the deck, we have the justice card, number 11. All right. Justice energy. Justice oftentimes comes in when you're actually dealing with... Um, Certainly, it's all about rebalancing coming in and, and uh, a writing, right, of an unbalanced situation. But a lot of times, Justice Card will come out when you're dealing with actual court cases, documents, official sort of entities. So let's get into it, Gemini. Your person is coming into the week with lovers, and you are doing Seven of Pentacles. So for them, um, it's all about the love connection with you, right? There's some give and take. It's very emotional this week. Um, but it's all geared towards harmony for them them, right? They're taking a really uh, hard look. This could, and with the justice here, this could involve them dealing with some kind of official business to do with marriage, divorce, separation, whatever the case may be. I'm going to see how, how we see this play out as we go on. Um, but for them, the institution of marriage, lovers, that, that consecrated bond is what's on their mind this week. Now, for you, Seven of Pentacles, you're really going to be busy this week, Gemini, if you're resonating with this reading dealing with your finances, and dealing with um, the work you do and how satisfied you are with that, right? So Seven of Pentacles is all about really reevaluating what it is you do with your life, with your time, where you put your effort in. Certainly when we're talking about career or business, right? Um, are you putting the effort in where you need to? Um, are you getting the returns back that you're expecting? You know, you've tilled this garden so much and these are the returns. So this is the thing, Gemini, this week you're busy with your career or your business and really evaluating where you are with that, how happy you are with that, while your person is very much thinking about the love connection. Now, how do you guys see each other? This is interesting where we get into. Your person is seeing you as two of swords and you're seeing them as the tower. So again, I almost wonder, once again, is there some kind of divorce or some kind of separation happening here for one of you? Because um, your person is seeing you as two of swords. So they're seeing that you are in a place where you're not willing or able to make a certain decision, right? Two of Swords, it's like you're trying to find your own balance, but a lot of times this is the card for, you know, the land of indecision. For somebody to see you as Two of Swords, it can indicate that a lot of times it may be that they're the ones who's put a particular uh, decision on you or option, they've given you an option, maybe even an ultimatum or something like that, and you're just not responding, right? You're not responding necessarily with the decision that they want you to have. You may not be making a decision at all, right? Um, and so it's interesting, you're also dealing with your work. So it could be that this work issue, this uh, livelihood issue is one of the reasons why you are not really you know, deciding either here or there for any one particular option, right? But you're seeing them as a tower, and they're going through a lot right now, right? So it's interesting. It can be that for them, you know, a lot is happening. A lot is like being torn asunder, right? Their world is really changing in a very fundamental way. And I almost wonder, like I say, it could be you're dealing with somebody who is going through a divorce or some kind of separation, or they may be going through something heavy in their life to do with the love connection, but they're really looking to you to make a certain decision as well. Certainly with justice at the bottom of the deck, it feels like this could be coming in for you, Gemini, this week. 
Now, what do you guys desire? They want a victory, but you want to know that you're doing the right thing for you. And I think this is where it comes in, Gemini. You're dealing with somebody who really wants to know. They want an answer. They want to know where you stand with them. They want a victory. They want to see a public victory. I feel strongly, Gemini, like, for some of you, this is indeed someone who may, may have changed or changed a certain situation they were in, left someone, you know, or a divorce is now finally coming th through or permanent separation coming through. And they want, uh, they may have gone through all this, right? Tower, tower moment. You're seeing a tower moment for them. So they're going through all of this, yet they want to come out the other end of this with a victory. And a victory is you. I feel like a victory is you in a lot of ways, right? Uh, you making that decision for them. Now, for you, Star Energy, you're really desiring to know and to be sure that you're doing the right things for you, for your life, right? Because Star is about uh, that goal we have for our lives. It's that dream, that goal we have for our lives, the way we want to live our lives, you know, that ultimate desire, right? Um, Star card is the card for Aquarius. Uh, which is your sister sign, Gemini. And lovers, by the way, is your card in the tarot, right? Um, but that's neither here nor there. And again, justice card for Libra. So all the air signs are showing up here. And then that only indicates to me to a certain degree that um, there's a lot of men mental aspects going on here this week. It's a lot of being up in your head and really worrying and thinking and being sure, am I doing the right thing? You may be second-guessing yourself. It could just be, like I said, that you want to know you're doing the right thing. They're pushing for a victory, which is why I see them pushing. Seeing you in a place of two of swords, it feels almost like... It may be aggravating them a little bit. They may be getting impatient with your inability to make the decision or to, you know, make, like I said, the decision necessarily that they want. Now, what needs to happen and what for both of you, and this makes, this really follows through the whole message of the reading. For you, it's Nine of Pentacles. So for you, it, you really, Gemini, this is a Gemini who feels, uh, who is self-sufficient, who's independent, who's ambitious. And again, your livelihood is extremely important to you, right? So I'm gonna, I almost feel like part of what needs to, ha you know, like you need to know that this connection with this person is right so that you can maintain your nine of pentacles, right? Nine of pentacles is somebody who... You know, they are so ambitious, they are so, it, their their career and their goals are so important to them that they will sacrifice uh, relationships and friendships and connections with others to achieve their goals. This is somebody who's very, very steadfast, right? Um, also, like, you need to feel, I, I want to say, Gemini, right now, you are on a path where you're kind of working towards something, right, where rewards start to come in. Nine of Pentacles is big rewards coming in after a long time of putting a lot of hard work in. So you're not trying to sidetrack that for this connection with this person. And so this is very important for you to maintain focus, and this is going to help you maintain the right attitude towards this love connection, right? So sort of like as long as you are able to have the free freedom and focus and space you need to concentrate on your livelihood, your business, your career, then this is the best thing that will bring this connection to a positive uh, sort of place. For your person, it's Page of Wands energy. They really need to show some courage. Page of Wands is really overcoming fear, overcoming the fear of following the beat of your own drum, not succumbing to sort of what other people want of you. And to a certain degree, Six of Wands is a very public victory, and it can be a bit of an ego right, an ego booster to have that public victory, but your person really needs to learn to stand on their own and really follow their heart and their vision, their ideals for themselves uh, without the need uh, for somebody else or without the need necessarily for you to come in and make the, you know what I mean, to make the decisions. This two thirds makes me feel, Gemini, like this person is looking to you, looking to you, looking to you to make the right decisions, when in fact they need to sh show the courage to kind of follow their own path. And again, I feel like this could certainly be someone who is uh, coming out of a previous relationship. There's some really, uh, I want to say, some real official business that's being handled here, and it's kind of propelling this situation to this kind of place, right? Uh, let me pull your uh, clarifiers, and then we're going to call this a reading, and your oracles, and then you call this finished, right? Finished. So clarifiers for this reading, show me, for Gemini, November 16th to the 23rd, show me. It's raining out here. I'm in Philadelphia, y'all. It's raining. 
Um, <clears throat> Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, oof, and Star. Well, the Star is showing up again. Four of Pentacles. There's your worry about money. So money is a real issue. And again, you want to wonder, like this person as well, I, I don't know, you know, it could be something to do with this justice, maybe this official issue that they got to go through. Again, it feels like a divorce separation. Before Pentacles is an issue here for you. So this is like, you know, worrying over stability and finances and making sure that everything that you've worked for, that's that, that, that power base that you've worked for, you're able to hold on to. Eight of Swords is there, though. Eight of Swords is really toxic energy. And it's, again, Eight of Swords is someone who really kind of, like, doesn't take responsibility for their own decisions. Let me see if I can get this a little better uh, focus. They don't take responsibility for their own decisions. This can be somebody very easily, very quickly gaslights you or somebody's just generally toxic to deal with. And I almost wonder if this person, this person you're in this connection with, Gemini, I'm not saying that they're toxic, but, you know, they really need to pull themselves together because they're kind of looking to you, I feel. Um, and you're busy with finances. I mean, are they helping you with finances? I don't feel that, right? Um... And it's not like you want help with finances, but you're busy with something this week, right? And they're kind of like, this feels almost like they're very much like infringing on your time, your space, your energy, sort of for their purposes, right? Which is a very selfish Eight of Swords energy. Yet, the star is showing up again, and you need to do what you need to do to make sure that you follow your, your sort of North Star, right? That you follow your goal, right? To energy again here, very strong. Focus, right? Being a card for Aquarius, we're talking about mental energy here. I'm really remaining focused, but, you know, constantly fertilizing the ground and your life and everything that you do, right? Making actions, taking decisions that continue to fertilize the potential for you to achieve your goal, right? So always working towards that potential, always raising the capacity for achieving your goal. These take little steps, these little actions, and we can see that with the, uh, with the figure on the star cards, always pouring water, always putting emotion and attention and feeling into everything that they do so that it remains focused. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, let me get, oh, let me get your oracles. I'm doing these backwards because I'd like to see the oracles towards the end of the reading to see how they really impact and uh, see what, what spirits might be impacting this connection for this week. Show me. So we have Spirit of Hecate, Spirit of the Crystal Ball, and Spirit of the Flock. So there you have it. Crossroads, right? Goddess of the Night, right? So there's like a little bit of um, other things going on here, right? I mean, the, the Goddess of the Night darkness is really things that... Uh, aren't easily explained. They happen under the cover of darkness. There's a crossroads, sometimes, you know, going beyond a point of no return, sort of, right? Um, spirit of the crystal ball, right? It's the idea, I want to say here as well, you're doing a lot of that with that star energy, really trying to look to the future, like, is this connection really what I want? Like, what's this going to pan out to? And really very much, I think, this week, trying to look ahead and see, well, you know, uh, you know how is this going to play out? Spirit of the flocks, right? Rivals, gossip, right? Uh, following the posse. Again, yeah. I want to say that your person with that eight of swords and that six of wands, which is all about, like, publicity and being in a public eye in a lot of ways, um, you know, it could be that you are dealing with somebody who's very much more about the way they look, the way are they coming out as the winner, are they coming out as the one, you know, that everybody looks to as, the, you know, being right. It feels to me funny like that, right? Almost like they're coming out of a relationship. Maybe they've been painted the bad guy in this relationship that they're coming out of with this justice card or what have you. Um... Uh, for those of you who don't, who, where this person isn't coming out of something like that, there is still some kind of public thing happening with the Six of Wands and Justice, some kind of issue. If it's not to do with a previous marriage or connection, um, it could be something to do with just the way, what they do out in the community or in their lives. Regardless, I feel in any case, like, this person is very much about, uh, to a certain degree, about... Uh, prestige and the way people see them and making sure that, you know, they win and they get what they want, not so much because that's what they want, but because that's what they, they want the world to see them as. All right, guys. So now, 
this is finally the end of your reading, Gemini. I'm going to call it. I hope you got some clarity out of this. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. That's all I ask. It's all that I need to stay here and keep me going. But for the rest, Gemini, have a wonderful week. And I will see you at your next Gemini reading. Bye-bye now.